Another day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar spent. Is more like it. I'm trying to go to Wencheng in Berlin, but it's way too packed. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to wait this long. Nah, man, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. So yeah, a couple of days in Berlin. I'm gonna show you guys around. Show you some of the spots you need to hit up. Some of the spots that Elijah hasn't been to as well. So you're gonna see his first-hand reaction. And I'm excited. I'm not excited. And. So Wen Chen, Wen Cheng didn't work, so we came to Kokyo, which was a Korean fried chicken spot. We still have to wait, but the the waiting list, the, the line is is just I think one guy in front of us, and that's that's about it. So we inside, and then right right after I uh, took the last shot, all of a sudden like. 10 people came and, and now it's packed outside. I don't know if you can see it, but this guy's trying to be sneaky. Alright, the food arrived. We got some soup, ramyun. We got super spicy, originals, and kimchi, and all that. We got a hungry, hungry hippo. And the guy said it's quite a lot in it. It's not. It is actually a lot, but we're hungry, man. We're gonna we're gonna dig in. Just finished. We ate good. What do you good. What do you say, man? Uh, honestly, I'm just grateful for being here and uh, grateful for the sport because the sport was amazing. No, no lie. I can't can't say anything more than, bro. Recommendation. Recommendation of the evening. Not, not in uh, what was it? Kokyo. Kokyo. Kokyo in Berlin. Uh, how would you rate it? From an, uh, Ooh. Let's say from one to five. One to five? Yeah. It was a man honestly like the the spot, the food, the uh, the evening that we had, the conversations that we had. Bro, it's a Okay, no. <laughs> Hold on, the food alone, maybe I would say a 4 out of 5, mm, sure. which is good, yeah. 3 is average, no, 2.5, 3, let's say 5 out of 10 is average, and 8 out of 10 is already, is really good, 10 out of 10 would be perfect, but that's, that's, that's rare, and I don't want to, I don't want to be too generous with, with uh, rating food, uh, so let's say an 8 out of 10, which is still really good, yeah. and um but the evening man conversations good conversations uh really good times you know with the brother uh so the night itself man 10 out of 10 man new inspirations new new impulses i think we have to take those kind of trips like this small uh, getaway trips for i think two to three days uh, we should do them every one and a half months or like every six weeks mm. not like uh, too uh, too close to each others like a too close time periods but like I think six weeks every six weeks or maybe every eight weeks uh, would be yeah I, I think that would that would be that I think that would be uh, it would be possible and would be uh, healthy um, for us to like even for not even like healthy for uh, ourselves but for our friendships you know like and for, to, to, yes. to spark new inspirations yeah, yeah, like also, uh, being outside of our comfort zones and being outside our, out, out of our hometown Hamburg I think uh, we should do that more and we even should bring uh, Someone like Mifta or uh, uh, Jan or I don't know, like so that we can grow with each other. The next day, 
uh, a place that you definitely have to hit up when you're in Berlin 1000% if you're into the stuff that we're into is Andreas Mukudis it's one of the maybe the best store in all of Berlin it's in this courtyard and right across from it is also Darklands if you're into some darker Rick Owens type avant-garde stuff that's where you need to go you got Wise some Marcel got crazy perfumes got really some of the sickest designers that you can think of that you can find here OMC by Luke Meyer who also designs Jill Zander with his wife Lucy if you know about me you know I'm, I'm a big fan of Luke Meyer and obviously you got the Yoji Good stuff. And they got some kind of Helmut Lang archival, I don't know, exhibit. All kinds of crazy archive Helmut Lang. Damn, I didn't even know about this. Got people filming it. Yo, fire. What a what a lucky day, I guess. And we also have the Rick Owens corner. Hey man. If you ever get the chance to actually touch Rick Owens puffer items, you have to do it. I think Rick Owens is a master of fabric. Not too sure if I'm a fan of Rick Owens' whole ethos and, and his vibe, but his his his, his craft as a pattern maker and the, the fabrics that he creates and that he chooses masterful got the porter back because we need that some cokes because we need those and here with the homies Andy and Elijah Andy is Living in Berlin. Yo, stuff like this. I don't even know, man. Socks, 1998. Helmut Lang is still in the packaging. I mean, I guess I do the same thing for Japanese stuff, but you know, I don't know. I always have the feeling that finding European designer is a bit more difficult than Japanese. Or maybe I'm just too deep into the Japanese stuff that I overestimate it. So, lovers of fire. Elijah, what do you think? Is this a gold mine? Too many, too many thoughts that I can't explain. So uh, I let the crew speak for themselves. What is this, Sakai? some furniture and homeware over here Man, 
and these lights are freaking insane. It's like rope. Can you see it? Feels like rope. It is rope. <laughs> Andy, let the people know what's your Instagram. <laughs> My Instagram. Andy Alexis Ay ay ay. It's gonna be on the screen. <laughs> so apparently this is the biggest Helmut Lang archive collection in the world. Sick. Endima archive store based in Berlin. It's all for sale. So it's inside the building, dark lens, no phones. So this is about as much as I can show you. Yeah, it's pretty broken. <laughs> Sorry. Almost didn't see. So then got CCP, Jeffrey B. Small, some. Other stuff as well. Uh, can I sneak? Can I sneak another look inside? So, Andreas Mukuris, super dope. You have to check it out. Um, Dark Lands is a nice place to go. There's some really good stuff in there. The, the staff is not that nice. <laughs> the niceness of the staff does not match the niceness of the clothes. But one thing, if I can, if I can uh, give you one advice, you know, like the first time I went into these kind of scary stores that were not very welcoming was maybe seven, eight, nine years ago. And in the beginning, I was always very. I let it get to me, you know, I let it bother me. I let their negative energy overpower my like curiosity and uh, positive approach. And I recommend definitely go in there, say hi. If they look at you funny, if they follow you around, don't give a F. Do not give a damn. Just do your thing, just go through the stuff, look at the stuff don't care that they're following you around they're not gonna kick you out and that's a fact they're not gonna kick you out and one one little cheat code that you can use uh, to get them off your back is to just tell them you're a student tell them you're a student you're a design student fashion design student and even if it's not true just just tell them a random school and tell them yo I'm, 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 a, I'm a student there and I wanna I wanna take a look at the stuff and they're usually gonna leave you alone even if they still follow you around, it's not going to be with the same energy of like, uh, you're not going to buy, leave. Because you already kind of told them, I'm not going to buy anything, so they're going to leave you alone. Uh, so yeah, Darklands, good stuff. And they also have a second store, Darklands X, which is the, right around the corner in the, in the basement. And that's more similar to their original store, which, which was in a warehouse somewhere a little... Uh, off the beaten path um, the second store was even even cooler from a conceptual standpoint because the music and and uh, the smell and the vibe was very industrial very hardcore and that's also that's the same thing that I told Elijah I'm gonna uh, tell you is that you know go to avant-garde 
fashion stores, even if you're not into avant-garde fashion, go into avant-garde fashion stores and look at avant-garde designers, uh, touch their clothes, uh, look at the construction and everything, because these people, they make no compromises. Their vision is clear, and they pursue that vision 1,000%. And, you know, whenever you feel like your, your vision uh, is, is drifting more towards uh, being commercial or if you're making compromises, if you're changing things, your, your, um, uh, yes, uh, to, to, to not lose your original purpose. Uh, of course, your vision and your, your ideas can change over time and it, it's natural. They will change and it's good that they change because that means that you evolve as a person. But going to these kind of archive stores, not archive, avant-garde stores, you know, it's just a reminder to be true to yourself and to the things that you stand stand for because the way they pursue their vision, those kind of designers, it's really like hardcore. This is who we are, this is what we do and we do it, we, we really live what we, we, they really live their ideals yeah. and it's always very inspiring. On, even if it's not inspiring, it's a reminder to stay true to your original idea and, and, and purpose in whatever project you want to pursue. So everything that Ima said applies, this is a, a, a life or, or even a, a life philosophy uh, to, to stay true to your, to, your, to your values, to your ideas, to your vision. Um, uh, to you should apply it to every aspect of your life, not only like your, your, your craft, your art, or if you're a designer or an artist or something like that, but even like how to, 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 to um, talk to people, how to talk to yourself, uh, 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 or yeah, yeah, true. Uh, the the second store, Darkland X. Yeah. The, the guy was much nicer, and we yeah. had a nice conversation. Yeah. He was he was very friendly, very forthcoming. Uh, Darkland X, uh, thumbs up, thumbs up. So uh, yes, I think that's what I wanted to say. Dinner at Pom Pom Pomodorino. Pomodorino. Yeah. And here, this is the man of the hour. Meme, this is. No, this is this is one of my brothers, and honestly, one of my biggest inspirations. Whether he likes it or not, this guy. You will you will find out more about him soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop his. Uh, Wiki I'm gonna drop his uh, Wikipedia and bio in the, in the, <laughs> in the description below. <laughs> it's the last day in Berlin. A spot that you definitely have to check out is Firmament. Um, you will find some Waco Maria in there, some Visvim, uh, that kind of stuff, but uh, they don't like. Uh, they don't like you to film inside so we respect that and we didn't film inside but I can tell you about it so definitely come check out Firmament it's it's a nice nice little shop with some good stuff over there is apparently something called uh, what is it super conscious they also have undercover stuff like that I don't know this is Soto which you can check out because if you're in the area already um, Firmament is around the corner, here at Soto, super conscious uh, you have the Supreme store right there so I mean I'm not super enthusiastic about Supreme but I mean if we're here we can uh, might as well check it out Elijah the people want to know the truth about your Helmut Lang zip hoodie what happened? So, uh, yeah, basically, like the hoodie originally had, was this. Yeah, bright red. Yeah, it was this bright red. This, this I don't know if you call it like yeah, fire red. Something like that. But it was like this color, and I uh, dyed it in a very deep uh, black, 
and this is how it turned out like now it has like a uh, very um, yeah it, it feels like so a mu muted Bordeaux very, very muted, Bordeaux. muted Burgundy uh, feels like worn already worn like uh, sweatshirt or maybe like organically dyed um, fabric. Yeah. yeah, and the only thing that remained the original color was the zipper and um, like uh, the yarn. The, the yarn the seems so really interesting. <laughs> nice, Elijah Sang. <laughs> this is cover. Virgil. Currently at Soto. Ich hätte das so gerne einfach dieses Kriegen wir schon irgendwie. Wir finden wir schon irgendwie. <laughs> Drip too hard, huh? <laughs> Installation at uh, the airport in Hamburg. The same people, huh? The same people, yeah. yeah. Ian had the Pussy Magazine bought. Ian had the Pussy. Pricks. Just. Trying to take out some money real quick. Or am I? This is this is a spot you need to check out. When in Berlin. It's called Hamburger Bahnhof. It's one of it's a museum for modern art. So currently I don't know, this might have been a old train station in the past, that's why it's called Hamburger Bahnhof, which means Hamburg uh, train station. <laughs> and currently there's the Berlin Biennale, and this is part of it, if you walk through here, like up here, there's the usual collection of art and at the current moment there is the Biennale going on so I'm curious to see what kind of new artwork there is exhibited don't be confused it's, it's the right way do not be confused this is where you need to go I'm pretty sure this used to be a real train station and these were probably the corridors or walkways or whatever you call it and here in this area that's the real um, that's where the real exhibition space is we have this super long hallway and 
all the different rooms to the left. about you but these kind of installations I'm always a little scared to walk inside <laughs> it's kind of scary no hey hey bro come with me don't leave me alone bro oh, this is mad scary brick wall I think it's just a black wall here man these were a couple steps into a horror movie <laughs> all right I'm back in Hamburg and there's some news, oh, uh, yeah, news, you could call it news, something new to the shop, which may seem very trivial to most of you, but it's super exciting to me. There you go. APG, but now finally we have the Vanitasism window whatever some of the brands and what you can find inside opening hours instagram and what a nice shadow it is here <laughs> 